Hi, my name is Cody Robert Judy, and I'm running for president in 2012 in the Democrat caucuses and primaries. My campaign is a little unique, and by preponderance, the fact is nearly obscure to the American people. In fact, obscure is probably an overestimation of the exposure I've had from the media. Indeed, my Three Ropes initiative platform proposes to America a fix for all the problems that ail us now, including our enormous national debt, unemployment that is depressing, and a concern that we have spent ourselves into a hole that threatens to consume our future generations as indoctrinated slaves, of which there will be no escape. But that isn't the vital feature of my campaign. The vital interest of my campaign is the Constitution, the binding agreement of the supreme law between the 50 United States of America. The Constitution is a remarkable and very beautiful document. You might even say in America our Constitution is the sexiest, sexiest document ever created. I'm not even sure if sexy is a word that can be translated in other foreign languages, but I'm for sure it includes fascinating, provocative, intriguing, attractive, suggestive, and dare I say energizing to the human spirit based in the desire of freedom and liberty. In 1790, our first president, George Washington, said, Towards the preservation of your government, it is requisite that you resist with care the spirit of innovation upon its principles, however specious the pretext. One method of assault may be to effect in the form of the Constitution alterations which will impair the energy of the system, and thus to undermine what cannot be directly overthrown. That said, the biggest threat of our time comes from the assault in autumn the natural-born citizen demand for the President of the United States to those who have natural dual loyalties within two generations to foreign governments who could perceive the word sexy as the great Satan? You see, inclusion of multiple religions is seen as evil by much of the world. It is incomprehensible and in their minds reprehensible. The term birther has been coined a term for those who believe in the Constitution's demand for a natural born citizen, meaning one who was born in the U.S. to citizen parents. Those who don't believe in that are termed anti-birthers. They, of course, don't necessarily believe in, in foreign influence invading or altering the Constitution, or that would really be such a bad thing. As your president, I want you to know that I will preserve the sexy of the Constitution, reserving the attraction of the office of the president as uniquely and discriminatingly American. Not everyone can be sexy, but there is hope for all those who are naturalized to have sexy children. Now, as you know, sexy has always been a popular term here in America. Standing up for the natural born citizen clause of the Constitution is popular among those who believe in the Excuse Constitution. Me, sir. I'm finished with quarterly reports for the FEC, and good news, we don't have to file because we haven't reached the $5,000 threshold yet. Lauren, we've been in this race for five months, and you tell me we haven't reached the $5,000 threshold yet? Yes, sir. How close are we? Well, sir, we have four contributors for a grand total of $225, and your bank account is overdrafted. As I was saying, the Constitution is sexy. And Americans have always been supportive of the Constitution. I, as a birther candidate, am taking a stand for the Constitution, which is very popular and very poor. In fact, most birthers are probably unemployed. That's the reason the campaign is so poor. That's the positive spin on this. And I'm going to take my four contributors, and we're going to go all the way. Lori, will you get me a drink? Here you go, sir. And don't worry, sir. Soon, we'll see you in the same potential I see you. Cheers. You must be right.